Hello. Focus. Focus. Hi. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today I'm back for another what I eat in a day video. I am also going to be doing my grocery haul in this video as well. Um, I have a grocery pickup tonight and I was going to like save it and do a separate video. But I think I'm just going to morph together my what I eat in a day and my grocery haul and do this one last video before Christmas. So this will be the last one you see until after Christmas. Sorry, I'm going to take, I was going to just take a one video break, but I'm going to take a two video break. So there won't be a video this coming Wednesday or on Christmas Day. But yeah, but you still get your grocery haul and your what I eat in a day. It's just going to be put into one. Today's Thursday. Uh, I'm trying to think what's been going on. I feel like my eating's been going okay. It has not been perfect, like, at all for a while. Like, well, nothing's ever perfect, but you know what I mean. I, like, Saturday, I knew I wanted to go get fast food somewhere. And I decided to get Dairy Queen, and then I got a Blizzard, too, which was great. I feel like I didn't... Okay, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know there are times whenever I would give myself treat days or treat meals, but it would turn into more of, like, a binging day. Like, I ate normally the whole day and then just enjoyed my Dairy Queen. It wasn't like a day where I was like, well, I know I'm getting Dairy Queen, so I'm just going to eat crap the rest of the day. So that felt like a little victory. And then I got the same exact meal. I got chicken strip basket and a peppermint whatever blizzard. I got the same exact meal on Tuesday night because my friend invited me up to her house to eat pot roast. But she didn't put the pot roast in early enough and it wasn't ready. But before I went up there, I was like, hey, it's blizzard sale night. On Tuesdays, our blizzards are cheaper where I live. I don't know if all blizzards are cheaper on Tuesdays, but they are where I live. And I was like, do you want to go get blizzards for dessert? And she's like, yeah. And then we decided that the pot roast wasn't going to be ready in time. So we just got chicken strip baskets. So I've had Dairy Queen twice this week, but it's fine. And I'll be right back because my doorbell just rang. So I got to go get some. Okay. Where was I? I was informing you. Okay. I was telling you about my food. So, and then I had my two meals of Dairy Queen. And then last night we had a little children's program at my church. And every Wednesday there's a church dinner. And this Wednesday was like a potluck dinner. So I ate a bunch of like random stuff. But I feel like I didn't eat like a ton. What? I like your shirt. Does it have rainbows? Yeah. She got a new shirt. Yes, it does. She's one, and you ask her a question, and she always says no, even if the answer is yes. Um, I love it when toddlers go through that phase because I think it's really funny. Um, so other than that, I feel like I've been doing pretty good. Um, I definitely like feel like after the holidays, I will need to like knuckle down a little bit more, but right now I'm just not being hard on myself, and I'm going to start doing gym stuff after the holidays. Um, but yeah, that's just a little quick update. I don't think there's anything else to update you on. I am going to, what's today's Thursday. So probably eat breakfast within like the next half hour, but you're going to see it in like 0.2 seconds if I remember to actually show you this time. Bye, you guys. I remember to film breakfast. <laughs> so here it is. My chocolate chip pancakes. This is Kodiak cake mix. It's a third cup. Kodiak cake mix, 14 chocolate chips per pancake, and a tablespoon and a half of pure maple syrup. So good. My favorite breakfast. I literally have it every morning. Yesterday morning, I don't know why, I randomly woke up at like 4 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep for like an hour and a half. My stomach kind of hurt because that was the morning after I'd eaten Dairy Queen, and like I just ate too much. And, um,. I was like, I don't think I can do chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast. Like I woke up at 4 a.m. I was already thinking about breakfast. And um, I was like, I do have like half a piece of that toast I got from Aldi in the fridge. We'll just have like some butter and jelly toast, keep it light. By the time it was time for breakfast, I was ready for chocolate chip pancakes and I ate them and they were delicious. So I don't know if I will ever make the switch from these pancakes and I'm not mad about it. So I'm gonna eat these. I'm going to go hang out with the kiddos, and I will jump back on here. It's time to eat again. Okay. Bye. It is about 9.15. I'm having my Alani. This is the second half of the cherry slush I started yesterday. Mm. So good. This is about the time I have a little energy drink. Gives me a boost. I'm starting to get a little sleepy, and I don't do coffee, so I have my energy drink around this time. I'm going to go back in there with the kiddos. We're just hanging out, watching Peppa, playing toys. Two of the kids um, 
one little girl's mom, it's her birthday, and one little boy, it's his dad's birthday. So I'm gonna have them after they eat their morning snack, they're going to make birthday cards for their parents. And then I'll just let the other kids color my picture too, cause I can't let two kids color markers and not let everybody color markers. That would not go over well. So that's the plan for this morning. And then we are also gonna do circle time. So big fun filled daycare morning. Catch you later. Hello friends. It is almost 11. I am eating an iced oatmeal Z bar. Um, and I'm gonna sit and eat this for a little bit and then the kids are gonna clean up in a couple minutes and we're gonna do circle time. Um, if you want to see circle time, I think my last daycare vlog is the one that has the full description of what I do at circle time in it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to re-energize with this bar and we will do cleanup songs. Hopefully it goes well. They only need three more stars. No, wait, four more stars to get a prize. I think it's four. Maybe it's three. I don't know. But they just need a couple more before they get a prize. And they always get so excited for prize day. I think prize day is going to fall on Christmas party day. So that'll be exciting. Um, yeah. So. Sorry, that was probably really loud. I was putting my tripod away. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head in there. And the next time you see me will probably be my lunch. Bye. All right, guys. It's about quarter after one. All the kiddos are asleep. And here is what I'm having for lunch today. I have this. Speedy strawberry go-go squeeze, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then some of these tortilla chips. I have about 20 grams here, and then I'm having one of these white chocolate. Why won't it focus? It's one of those like lint truffle things. Sorry, it won't focus, but that's what's for lunch today. I'll put the calories right here, and we go eat this, hang out while the baby's nap. Hey guys, it's about quarter after five. I'm having my dinner. Um, with it, I'm also having my collagen drink. So let me show you everything I put in that. I have 12 ounces of water. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. I'm kind of in a hurry. Cause I have bell practice tonight and I'm always running late. I have, I took a scoop of these. I didn't put it in my drink. Um, in the drink, I did some Kool-Aid. Have some of this left. I know it's not whole food, but I have some in my grocery pickup but I was just using the last of this. So that's in the drink and I put two scoops of my Adventure to Fit Collagen in the drink. And then I also took this elderberry vitamin. Um, let's get to dinner. All right, here we go. We are having a fish filet. This is Parmesan encrusted tilapia. Um, and then I'm having this brown rice quinoa pasta. I just put a little bit of butter on it and then some green beans. So there is my plate. I'm gonna go eat this up and then I will catch up with you. The next thing will be my grocery haul. So hello then. friends, it is 8.30. I just got back from my Walmart grocery pickup, laid all my stuff out for you. Um, so let me show you what I got. Alrighty, so first we have oat nut bread. I've been enjoying having this for sandwiches lately. The ingredients are pretty good, so have that. I got some more cooking spray. This is just pure avocado oil. I've never tried this kind of spray before, so I use it every morning with my pancakes. So I'm gonna give this a try. I still have some of my other stuff in the cupboard I'll use up first, but I was almost out, so bought some of this. Got some dinner rolls. This, I use these to make um, like monkey bread, like cinnamon roll things for Christmas morning. So that is what I needed that for. Got some butter. This also goes with the recipe. Um, salmon, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna have like salmon, my salmon and rice bowls this week. I think I'm just gonna do barbecue sauce though instead of that yum yum sauce I tried to make. Um, so I'll do like salmon and then I got some avocados. I only got two because the ones at Aldi were bigger but Walmart gave me like baby avocados. So hopefully this is enough. I use like half an avocado per salmon bowl. It should be fine, but I really like the avocado in there, so I was hoping for bigger ones, but it'll be good. So I'll do like this, and I have some jasmine rice in the cupboard, and I have some barbecue sauce in the fridge. So that's going to be some yummy dinners next week. And I got some more tortilla chips. I've been having these with lunch lately. You saw today. Um, okay, I've been having an obsession with saltine crackers. Let's talk about them for a minute. Okay. For whatever reason, I... On my Fitbit app for the last like couple weeks, I thought you could have like 20 saltine crackers for only like 100 calories because that's what the Fitbit app said when I searched saltine crackers. I didn't look at the box because I just trusted what Fitbit said and it's actually like 
70 calories for five crackers and I was like eating like okay I had 20 so for 10 you can have 140 so if I had 20 I was having like 208 almost 300 calories worth of salting crackers when I thought I was only having like 100 calories so it's fine. I'm still going to fit them into my day. Probably when I'm 20, I'll probably scale back to 10. But I thought the calories were so so low, so I was just like grabbing handfuls of them. So I got a box for tonight because I know I'm going to want some tonight. I've been eating them like right before I go to bed. I have a dessert, and then I eat these right before I go to bed. So I don't, I don't know what my obsession is, but... All right, I got some cranberry juice, and then I got this Talenti mm, gelato. I got the vanilla fudge cookie. I can't remember what kind I got last time if you remember comment below but i got this time i have the vanilla fudge cookie and the caramel cookie crunch i feel like it might have been this one so those will be good little evening desserts um i got some more jelly i've been on a pb and j kick for lunch lately i got some healthy pops 100 calorie popcorn been on like a popcorn kick a little bit lately too so Got some of that, you know, I've been loving Z bars lately. So I got ones that have chocolate chip and they iced oatmeal just to change it up a little bit. But these have been my fave morning snack. Um, I got some Jack Link's beef jerky. Gonna try to get a little bit more protein in and I kind of been missing eating this stuff. Um, I'll probably have it like with an afternoon snack with my collagen drink is probably what I'll end up doing. There's that, I got some of this jello pudding and this brown sugar this is part of the cinnamon roll sticky bun recipe thing so yeah that's that i got some chicken broth i figure this might help some of my casseroles like add some chicken broth to it i don't know i'm, I'm not gonna make a casserole next week but i got this to have on hand if i need it then I got some stir drink flavoring and that is all as far as food goes. So let's get into the non-food items. I needed some more dish soap. So I got that for down here. I got this little thing, no, it's not dish soap. This is hand soap, it better be hand soap. Yeah, it's hand soap. This is dish soap. So this uh, I'm gonna take upstairs. I keep my cat's water bowl upstairs. So I keep some dish soap and a sponge upstairs um, to clean out our bowl every once in a while when it gets dirty so I don't have to bring it down here. Um, and then I got some sprinkles because at my daycare party, I decorate cookies with the kids. I let them decorate cookies. I make cutout cookies and then I get icing and then I let them have sprinkles, guys. I feel like it's not the smartest idea to let them have sprinkles, but they love it and the mess doesn't take too long to clean up. So. Um, I got some tape because I need more tape for wrapping and I just need tape to keep down here. So I got a couple of those. I got these Sharpie markers. Um, I have black Sharpie markers here, but they are really dull. Like they're really flat. They're not fine pointed and they don't work very well. And I need them for a daycare craft we're doing. It's an important one because it's like the parents Christmas present. So I needed good Sharpies to finish off those. I plan on doing a TikTok video about those. So come check me out on TikTok if you wanna see that, see what it is because I, maybe I'll post about it after Christmas. I don't know, I probably won't, but on like Instagram, but I don't want to post on Instagram because I don't want the parents to see. But on TikTok, like only a couple parents follow me. And at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be like, if you're a daycare parent of mine, don't watch this unless you want to know what you're getting for Christmas. Um, I can show you the starting process of it because they won't watch this video. <laughs> okay, so I bought these little ceramic coasters. And the kids use their thumbprints. This little girl made a Christmas tree. And then I will use the Sharpie to write Merry Christmas somewhere on here. Um, I did little reindeer for the littlest kids because it's really hard to get their thumbprints. And you'll see the last thing I'm doing with that and the Christmas tree. Too many thumbprints. So we just did three. And I'll use the Sharpie to add like the reindeer's antlers and their eyes and write Merry Christmas. And then I think I'm going to use like I'll use the Sharpie. I'm going to do two black nose reindeers and then I'll do Rudolph in the middle. And then I'm going to take like red and green paint and just do like red and green dots all around it since it's pretty like there's not a lot to it if I just draw these in with reindeer and say Merry Christmas. So I'm going to add to this one a little bit. And then the last one, this one's my favorite. Most of the kids picked to do this. I let them choose except for the babies. We just did reindeer. Um, they did these little thumbprints and I'm going to use Sharpies to make it look like Christmas lights and then I'll write Merry Christmas up here. Um, and then I will spray all of them with Mod Podge. It kind of makes it look shiny and it helps keep the paint on. And then I bought these little stands. Their parents can set it on a stand and use it as a decoration if they want to. So that's my parent present for Christmas this year. So I needed some good Sharpies. Um, 
So if you want to see the finished product of those, find me on TikTok. I will probably post it this weekend sometime. So maybe it'll already be posted by the time this is up. I don't know. We'll see. My weekend is pretty busy, so probably not. Um, all right, let's move on to a couple more things. Okay, I got some ribbon for wrapping and deodorant. So exciting. Um, I also am doing a Sam's Club pickup Saturday. Today, you're, this is the day you're seeing the video. So I'm doing the pickup today. today. Um, I will put a picture up here of my order. I am getting more Kodiak pancakes, see if I can remember everything. Maple syrup, Alani's, and more saltine crackers. I was like, I'm gonna, okay, here's the thing. I was gonna just get a big one from Sam's because I was like obsessed with them and I wanna have a bunch in my house. So I was like, I'll just get them from Sam's. But then I was thinking, I was like, I don't wanna wait until Saturday for saltine crackers. So <laughs> I bought some at Walmart too. They'll get eaten. They stay good for a long time. So I'm gonna have pots of saltine crackers in the house. Watch, I'll probably get tired of them and hate them in like a week. That's that's what happens, but it's fine. So yeah, that's everything as far as grocery hauls go. I'm not done eating for the day, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away, figure out what I'm having for my evening snack. I thought I was gonna have one thing, but I think I might switch. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that, and I'll be back in one second. Oh my goodness, guys. It's been like an hour since I put all the groceries away. I called my mom to talk to her about some stuff and I was like cleaning the bathroom, wrapping her Christmas present, or not her Christmas present, her birthday present because her birthday is tomorrow. Um, so I totally got distracted and then I went and like sat on my bed just to relax for a minute and I was like, I'm hungry. And then I was like, I'm filming today and I didn't end out my video. So I... I'm gonna show you my dessert. I, it's not really even dessert, it's just a snack really. It's a yogurt, my triple, I always say this wrong, triple zero mixed berry. Um, I'm just like really hungry, so I'm gonna fill up on something more high protein instead of like ice cream. I'm gonna have this, and then I'm having some saltine crackers. There's 10 of them in this little bowl thing. I'll probably like eat my yogurt, get ready for bed, and then eat the crackers. I don't know why, this has been like my right before I go to bed snack lately. Just, they're, they're just good. I know they're not whole food too, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, but that's that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. And like I said this morning, I think I said this this morning. Um, this is gonna be my last video until after Christmas time. I just wanted to merge these two together so I kind of have a little bit of a break. I am going to film. I hope it works out okay. I'm going to try really hard to film the daycare Christmas parties next week. Um, I hope I get some good footage from that and that should be my next video. It'll be the Wednesday after Christmas. It'll be the daycare Christmas parties. Um, and then you will have my New Year's resolutions, probably another grocery haul on the following Wednesday and then another what I eat in a day. So it'll be a couple weeks, but it's gonna be last time I'm like talking to you before Christmas. I'm excited for Christmas. I still have presents to wrap. I like got the daycare kiddos presents like probably very beginning of November. And then I went up and I was like, oh, I need to order this one girl something different. And like I switched some things around. So I have presents coming tomorrow. I have to still go get my dad something. I have most of the kids presents wrapped except for the one girl who I had to get something different. And then two of my girls will be here for both party days. So I got them something little for the second day just so they have something to open with their friends. Like I said, I'm making the sticky rolls. I have to decide, like, I think I might make two because I wake up on Christmas morning at my dad's house and hang out with like my brothers. And then Christmas day night, I go to my mom's and spend the night there. So I was like, I should make another batch to have at my mom's because I usually don't do that. So I thought it'd be nice to do that. So I might have enough stuff to make two batches of sticky buns. Um, I don't know, things are going well. I am just excited. I'm excited for Christmas and yeah, I'm just rambling. So I hope you all have a Merry Christmas because I will not see you before then. Um, hope your Christmas goes well and you have a great time with your friends and your family. And just always remember, you know, we get caught up in the hustle and bustle of presents and food and being busy. But I encourage you to take time to remember, you know, why we celebrate the season, at least why I as a Christian celebrate the season, the birth of Jesus and the fact that God sent his son for us. Like we didn't deserve that, but he did it anyways. And it's just really amazing and great. And 
I don't even know I, there's not even words to describe how awesome it is so just take time to remember that and slow down enjoy time with your family and friends and don't get too caught up in worrying or trying to make everything perfect um so that's my encouragement to you thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below press that subscribe button if you haven't already you can find me on tiktok and instagram and i will see you in a couple weeks bye